Hey everyone, I'm the Taylorette and I know that I mentioned to some of you that I would be doing a tutorial on how I do my gathers on my bodices. This is a Civil War camp dress bodice. Now the sleeves are not there, obviously it's not finished. I did a few touch-ups to it. The bodice around the bust was too big but the waist fit just right so I took it in the side seams and I reshaped the sleeve holes so I can have a big enough sleeve opening for the customer who is buying this dress. So I trimmed the neckline and then I cut mimicked it to the other side. So yeah, let's get started. What you will need is an iron and that's pretty much about it. Oh, and water. I do in fact like to put water in my iron. I already pre-washed the fabric so this will not shrink the cotton. So make sure before you do this that you pre-wash your fabric so it doesn't shrink it in that one area that you're pressing. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm looking at these gathers and you're probably thinking this looks just fine. To me, it's not what I prefer. It looks great. The pattern had me just leave it this way. However, I did add a few techniques so that I can make it look a little bit more nice. If you can see that all the gathers are straight here, they're just kind of going like this. The gathers were over here. I shifted them over here on the pattern because I wanted the bodice to be on a V shape. So what I did is I put the gathers over here, but now I'm going to pull the gathers and push them all the, all the way to the middle and I tied a knot on this side of my gathers so that it wouldn't come out so they could just kind of hit the edge there. So I'm pulling it and as you can see, can you see the difference? It, it's now more coming out like a V. I, I don't just leave it gathered all the way to each edge, I'm pushing it all to the center here. That looks fine. I'm going to repeat it to the other side now. So I'm not sure if you can tell the difference, but now we have that nice V that we're looking for and it doesn't stop there. This looks fine. It looks great. However, there's that one last touch and that's what I used the iron for and I added the water just like I showed you before. So now we have our gathers done and we shifted them over to the center. Now is the next step. I'm going to take the iron. And actually, instead of just leaving it, I don't like the puffy look. I like my things to look flat. So I'm going to pull my gathers down like this so that it looks like it's just kind of pulling here. And just kind of move the gathers around like this. There we go. I like that look. That is perfect right there. I'm going to take the iron, and I have the iron on high, and I'm going to press it. I'm going to pull this down. And as I'm pressing, I'm pulling down on the fabric like that. The mannequin will not melt on me. <laughs> so I'm going to do it to this side. This would probably work better if I had a smaller mini iron, but this is what I have for now. The back part of the bodice has gathers as well. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. It's kind of the way the pattern was designed. I liked where the gathers were, so I'm just going to leave them there, but I am going to press it, pull down and press. I'm not done pressing it just to make sure that I get some of that those press nice and set in. I'm gonna take my lady off the mannequin and set her down like this. And now this is where the steam will be more applied because the iron will be flat. And you can hear it steaming. Just kind of set those gathers in place and then twist a little bit. This will just make it more permanent with the steam coming out when the iron is upright the steam doesn't come out and you'll see this here I don't know if you see that rippling there that is actually just basting stitches because I wanted to keep the fold in place on the other side until I hand stitched it down so that is gonna come out it's not gonna look like that and do the same thing to the back side and now she's done I don't know if you can see the difference in the gathers here, but it just makes everything come together and it's not as puffy. There are no rules with all of this. In the Civil War era, I'm sure the loose gathers would be just fine, but for me, I prefer everything to look nice and flat. And I feel like it just gives it that movie look. Like, it's that one last touch that brings the whole dress together. Each garment is different in how I deal with my gathers depending on the look. Thank you for watching. I do have a few more tutorials coming out, so hit the subscribe button. I'll be talking about trim and cartridge pleating on this dress, and I will see you all later.